TLDR, it's properly installed and happily running my gear. This is an edited review because I received the unit with two right side mounting brackets. I called APC, sent them some pictures, and they promptly sent me some new mounting hardware. The customer service was fast, professional, and effective. Sure, I wish I hadn't needed customer service, but they made it as painless as possible. As for the unit itself, I can't say that it has been put to the test except for a few minutes while I moved the rack from one room to another. No problems and it did what it was supposed to do. I'm pretty happy with it. The unit is currently not hooked to the network. It'll do that eventually, but only after setting up a subnet that isolates the unit from the rest of the network. No need to risk any weirdness that may try creeping in via the UPS. I hear it requires an open port, which is no buena. Luckily, my firewall and managed switches can handle that easily. I'm not sure if they'd connect it to my network if I couldn't isolate it and safely route that open port. I read a few reviews where the software for this power supply wasn't working for some, however, I had no such issue. The unit is well packaged and has well written and clear instructions, it is simple to install and comes with the required power and USB cables. Our neighborhood suffers from semi-frequent power outages and this battery backup has really made a difference in my daily workflow and I no longer have to worry about an abrupt shutdown of my workstation. Arrived defective. My IT people advised me to send it back, which I did. That was a major hassle because it contains a battery and could not be returned, but the seller quickly responded and sent an RMA and return label and it went back. My IT people told me it is a good product when it works right and recommended that I buy it again. So I did, but the price went up by $16. Not happy, but I have not given it one star because they were quick to send the return instructions. I will try again and hope for better luck this time. It is intended to protect a server. I like the fact that my IT experts can monitor it without physically coming in. I suppose this is a back door into my system, but I find it very useful. Hopefully the next one will work properly. I will update this after the new one is installed. Addendum: This is a story of 5 star customer support. The product is good. I am not an expert and I do not have much to say about this product, except that it was recommended by my IT experts. The product was ordered on August 17th and arrived defective on September 1st. Amazon currently takes about two weeks to deliver this item. One feature is that it can be connected to an outside IT monitoring service, and this did not work. So I went to Amazon to start a return. Amazon said that this product was not eligible for a return. What? $450 product and I could not return it? was I stuck with a defective product. So, through Amazon, I found a way to contact the seller. Within an hour they issued an RMA and instructions for a return. We followed the instructions and returned it. I commented that I would like a replacement, but did not receive any confirmation that I would get a replacement. So I assumed I would get a refund. My IT experts still said that this was a good product and to order it again. It was highly recommended to protect my expensive server and we were seeing power outages due to unusual 112F high temperatures. So, on September 3rd I went to Amazon and reordered the same item again. I was disappointed to see that the price had increased. Within a short time the new smart UPS arrived. The IT experts installed it and said that it was working properly with no problem. I waited a few days and saw no refund. So I sent an email to the seller to ask when I would get my refund. They replied quickly to tell me that they had sent a replacement and that there was no refund. They sent the tracking number to prove it. I researched the tracking number and found that we had received and installed the replacement, 
and that the new Amazon order was still on its way. The seller had shipped the replacement the day after they issued the RMA, and before they had actually received my return. So, now I realize that I was going to have two of these and I only wanted one. The seller told us to refuse delivery when the second one came. It has not arrived yet, Sept 22. So, I am hoping that the seller has managed to turn the delivery in progress around. The seller has been amazing with quick replies to my emails and prompt service throughout this episode. I highly recommend them. 5 Star Recommendation Here an unorthodox but effective way to mitigate the problem of premature battery failure, and vastly extend runtime for these generally reliable UPSs. I have managed about 15 to 20 APC SMT4 Rex model UPSs over the past dozen years. We have a lot of the SMT1500 models. Some of these units were purchased before APC was bought by Schneider Electric, some afterward. All in all we are getting great, long-lived performance from all our SMT4 Rex UPSs. The one problem area is with the batteries. Buying replacement batteries is akin to buying a pig in a poke. Many reviews criticized the APC branded replacement batteries for failing prematurely, and the third party knockoffs are often a joke. I've tried a lot of brands and most of them disappoint. As an example, the last time I bought replacements for a few SMT750 and SMT1500 units the battery life was quoted as 3 to 5 years. I conservatively labeled the UPSs to have the battery checked 2 years in. Well, 1. 5 years in we had an extended power outage and the batteries failed miserably on all the units. Every one of our UPS solutions has been engineered to have a runtime of about 2 hours. That is an unusually long amount of time, but with the original batteries, the 2 hour goal was met. When the outage occurred with the replacement batteries installed, we lost power in a matter of minutes. The batteries failed way early. Here are a couple of example links to the batteries that failed prematurely here UPS battery center compatible battery pack for APC smart UPS 1500 va 120V SMT1500, plug and play. Here new battery pack for APC smart UPS 750 va 120V LCD SMT750 compatible replacement by UPS battery center, and here APC smart UPS 750. SUA 750S 12V 7 on UPS battery, this is an AJC brand replacement. This was when I decided there had to be a better way. I had been thinking about rigging an external battery pack on the bigger 1500 units for some time. There are of course APC models designed to accommodate external packs, but they are also designed to cost a lot more money. The SMT1500 is a sweet spot on the price curve for us. And since we already own quite a few of them I wanted an SMT1500 based external pack solution. This wheel has been invented before, and you can find a lot of forum posts about adding an external battery pack, with the caveat that you must connect to the UPS with a serial cable and modifying the standby time. In other words, there is a body of thought that the UPS on its own won't realize that the battery capacity has been increased simply by connecting a battery with a larger RAM power rating. You have to tell the UPS that there is more standby time or the unit will shut down before the batteries are exhausted. This of course is a consideration even before the mechanical connection to the external pack has been sorted. However, we found this conventional wisdom not to be true. The batteries I went out and bought two 12 volt Optimo Blue Top batteries, Optimo batteries 8052 to 161 D31M Blue Top starting and deep cycle battery. Very well reputed maintenance free AGM batteries. This is the top of the line 75 ohm model, but they make a less expensive 55 ohm model that will likely suit most needs. 
The SMT 1500 UPS is use a 24V internal pack, two 12 volts cells connected in series, so two Optimus cells were required to be connected likewise. I then tackled the job of reprogramming the runtime one of the SMT 1500s and experienced failure after failure. Click link in description for more reviews.